Hello there, fellows, and welcome to another episode of Tigers RC in Minecraft. This time we are at day number um, one hundred and thirty three. Yep. Day number 133, because each of these is worth 32 for 128, and then 1, and a 2, and a 4 for 7, so day 133, I think, or 35. 135. Whatever. Mental math on camera isn't that great. But today, we are going to be doing something really cool. It's not the witch hut even though that's right there, but we are going to be starting our main base. The place where we put all our chests, all of our storage and stuff, you can see it starting to crop up right there. But, yeah. So, I had an idea, and I really hope this turns out, because it's a pretty cool idea, that um, my main base be a tower that is lopsidedly sunken into the ground. So the main entrance might be over here or something, and it's like a balcony from the third floor. And down on the bottom floor, there are the actual entrances and stuff, but yeah. So this is what it looks like so far. You can see I've been making these rings that are the size of the tower and staggering them as it goes down. But I think that what I'm going to start things off with with this episode are some jump cuts where I actually place most of the wall of this tower. Get this thing all set up. You can see I've got some resources. One or two stone bricks. One or two stone, a few stone stairs. But yeah. It's gonna be a decrepit tower as well, so I'm gonna actually need some cobblestone and mossy cobblestone. And on the lower side, there are gonna be vines, and the tree that is gonna come up out of here is gonna like tower over this thing. And I think it's gonna look amazing. But I'm gonna get all of the main stuff placed and then we can start on the detail. I'm basically going to go over the entire thing again with cobblestone and replace like random blocks. So I'm going to sleep and get that all ready. See you in the jump cuts. Placing stone bricks, placing stone bricks, healing up and placing more stone bricks living on the edge of a deep, deep drop and placing stone bricks. Layer 1 is done, on to layer number 2. Placing stone bricks. Saying hello to my doggies. Hello doggies. Back to placing stone bricks. Alrighty, well, I'm done with the lower half, and I'm just going to say that this is going to turn out pretty well, just judging by how it looks now. Um, it's a very, very large workspace, and so once I get to doing the interior, like, the fact that it's slanted means that the entire room will be slanted, the entire floor will be slanted. Um, that's going to be a lot of fun to do. I'm really looking forward to it. Right now I'm going to replace this dirt and stuff so that we can get a better view. And, yeah, here. I'll be back in two ticks. Yep. Yep. That's actually looking really good. I'm really glad I did that ring thing because otherwise I would be so confused, but the entire slanted like that, it's actually turning out pretty well. So now I think I'm going to start on the outside and I'll see you when I've made some progress. So 
Be back in a sec. Placing stone brick, placing stone brick, placing stone brick, placing stone brick. By the way, don't worry, I will definitely clear this up and make it so that it's not all stone brick. Because making it all stone brick is really boring. So I'm going to just keep on placing stone brick for a while. But soon enough, I'll be placing some other stuff. Placing stone brick. The lopsided tower begins to emerge. Okay, um, from what I'm seeing, it looks like there are these horizontal rings. You know what I mean? It's the way I built it, so that it's easier to build. I just go around with a ring, and then build too high on top of that ring, and then do the next ring. You can see it in here really easily. Ring. 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 But I don't want it to be a horizontal ring. Because the tower is tilted. Um, I don't mind having the rings in there. Because, I mean, what else are you meant to do? It's not a tree. You can't just break it up. Um, but what I'm going to do to solve these rings is make it so that the rings are at the same angle as the tower. So after I'm done here, I'm going to start adding some underneath on one side, probably this side, and subtracting some from the other side to make it so that the rings look diagonal. They look like they are, um, I don't know, here. I'll just they don't look like this that's not what we want we want them to look like this going up on a slant that's perpendicular to the slant that the towers on so yeah hopefully that'll work out I'll keep on uh, going on this and see when I'm done alrighty there she is and that is definitely not the look that I was going for so we've still got quite a bit of work to do I'm going to start things off by trying to make the top follow the right slope so uh, um, yep definitely gonna need these probably these and some of these and this and might as well Alright, so I'm going to do that. The way the, um, the slope of the tower right now is one block diagonally over um, and one block up. So, or three blocks up. So three blocks, one block diagonally over. Three blocks, one block diagonally over. So... I'm going to follow that even on the top here um, by doing a diagonal slope downwards. You can see this end is going to be the highest, so I'm going to leave it just the way it is. But let's do diagonal 1, 2, or yeah. So it would be diagonal from this block would be this one, one, two, three, something like here would go down. And then something like here would go down. And then about here would go down, but I don't want to cut into the next ring just yet. I'm going to actually take a look at that from a distance so let's get a good view of it I think that that's actually probably a good angle and yeah I'm gonna definitely need to do something with half slabs and stuff like that so I'm gonna tinker around with it for a bit and I'll get back to you when I've got something cool so see you in a sec Wow! Wow, yes! 
This is gonna look great. I just came out here and saw how perfectly that is perpendicular to that. Alright, I'm really happy right now. Really happy. That's perfect. Now what we want to do is we want to go all around the outside underneath this stuff. Whoops. Fell in the water. Um, underneath this stuff and um, for the ring we're gonna go three blocks down from each and every single one of the top blocks so that will make a ring that's exactly three blocks down from the top but it's still on this angle because um, it's based off of the block on top not the block on bottom so that's good um, I'm gonna get a little bit more scaffolding and I'll see you after I've done some of that. Alright, I'm gonna just say that looks pretty cool. Um, yeah, the, the sideways sloping rings, that adds a lot. So I think that that does look like a tower. Just a tower that is sunken into the ground and is lopsided and yep I'm liking it um, it does look like if you especially you can see it if you come right here um, it's flat on this side and then it goes straight into a diagonal going that way like along there and then it's flat going straight out so I'm gonna fix that real quick I think I'll do it on camera because it's relatively easy to do all that you need to do is make it so that it's not a straight diagonal here by cutting off those three blocks I think yeah that should do it and then you can do the same thing right here um, actually I'm gonna sleep real quick but um, yeah that's that's relatively easy to do so yep Oh, as long as we're over here, last episode we got three dogs, and so I will be naming those towards the end of this episode, and I'm going to want to hear what you think about the names. You guys posted down in the comments a few names. I think I'm going to come up with the third one. Still kind of have to do that right now, but um, they sound pretty cool, and for the three doggy tiers, they are perfect. Um, yeah, so I'm going to do this, it's, nope, not those three, these three, right here, there, and then one right there. Okay, wow, um, this looks legitimately like a tilting tower in the ground in Minecraft made out of cubes. I'm really really happy right now I can't yeah it's really difficult to do angles and round stuff in Minecraft and that's what I just did I'm really happy okay I'm I'm super excited I'm gonna keep on building for a while um, next up I think what I'm going to do is um, actually I should probably do something like this just to break it up a little bit probably yeah I'll probably end up doing that but um, what I think I'll do is I am going to have to go over this entire thing this entire monstrous build and just poke holes in it poke holes in it and replace all those with cobblestone and mossy cobblestone especially on this side this side's gonna have a lot of mossy because I'm also going to hang vines down on this side cobblestone mossy cobblestone and um, gravel as well as some stairs some stairs and slabs of stone brick that way um, you can see very clearly 
the weathered and old and decrepit texture of this entire tower. After that, I think I'm going to have to do a lot of terraforming down at the bottom to make it look like it's falling into the ground. And that will be interesting. I don't really know how I'm going to do that quite yet, but that'll be fun to do. Um, but as it is now, I am really happy with this build. Um, obviously, I haven't done anything on the interior, and this episode is probably going to be a little bit long, seeing as I might even get to the like the bottom floor and do that. But yeah, this thing is looking great, and I am really, really excited to keep on building. So I'm gonna jump cut to when I've made some progress on the weathering, and yeah. Oh. By the way, as long as I'm up here, this right here, all that this is, is a guide. This is how I got that angle that I wanted on the side. Ow. That hurt. Um, it's... It basically... Um, I was up at the top, and I looked over and saw that it was this high. So I put blocks at that height, and then I knocked out the blocks that were below that height, and I made it work. So I'm going to probably get rid of this now, but you can see blocks at this height are diagonal out, and then blocks at this height, and then blocks at this height. So if you're, if you're ever building something complex like this, I'd recommend making a guide. It's very useful just to see what the... This is kind of an interesting example, but just to help you see what you need to place. So, yep. I'm going to start weathering, and I'll see you when I've done some of that. So, be back in a tick. Okay, I'm actually pretty happy with this. It turned out very well. It took a while, quite a while actually, to get all of this um, random blocks in there. Quite a long time. But I'm really happy it turned out actually really well. Here, let's take another look. Yep, it doesn't look like it's solid stone brick which is exactly what I want. I don't want it to be just straight up stone brick. I want to add some more texture to it. Um, I'm thinking about integrating wood into the exterior. It's just I don't know how exactly. It seems kinda difficult. So I'll I'll have to think a little bit more about that, see if there's anything else I can do with that. But right now, what we gotta do is terraform this exterior because um, it definitely wouldn't be completely flat. You you would have to have some sort of uh, like a ridge on this side just kinda coming up coming up where the thing is because I mean it's going into the ground and tilting as it's doing it so it's drilling straight down and then it's tilting this way so all the ground on this side has to go somewhere and that somewhere is probably up um, I think I'll yeah I'll probably have to fill in something like this this area so that I can do that a little bit better, probably even a little bit more on this side. Something about like this. Give or take. Something like that. And... Yeah, I'll fill that in and then start terraforming. And I'll see you when I've made some progress. Alright. I want to say that that looks pretty cool. 
Um, I might add... I think I'll add a little bit more over here as long as the camera's running. But, yeah. I think that this, this base is coming together quite nicely. Um, next thing I'm going to do is get get some bone meal and go ahead and bone meal all this grass as soon as it's done growing. I'll probably have to wait a little bit for it to be done growing, but as long as we're here, I might as well go and get some flowers because we're going to add those as well. Um, what sort of flowers? I think the yellow sunflowers, the tulips, and the dandelions. Yep. Two small flowers, one of them reddish-orange and a yellow one, and then a large or yellow one. The yellow one... Okay, this, this may or may not work. I gotta see... Nope. You see that? That's gonna be horrible. Actually, we can leave that there. And if we get bone meal in a little bit... Where'd that sun go? Alright, if we get bone meal, what we can do is make that like a different sort of textured um, tall grass. But we're probably going to use more sunflowers on this side. Like here, a few around here. Maybe if we break this, we've got a shorter sunflower. And one more around there. Another one there. Another there. And then, if we want to, maybe one right there. Alright, um, next for the tulips, let's go ahead and just spam those all around here. A little patch there, a little patch there-ish, that looks good. Another one here. And one here, maybe one over here. Little patch. How about one here? And there. Good enough for the tulips. And then some yellow flowers. These ones I'm just gonna spread around all over the place. right around here and like this even down here on the shoreline and all of this alright that's all of my yellow flowers I'm probably gonna have to get more of those but it's good for now now we need to grab some bones and bone meal there that's plenty and I think the grass has grown decently well so Let's get this started. Make sure, making sure to get some tall grass in there, especially down here. This is meant to be overgrown. So one there, another tall grass, one right there, tall grass there. Ooh. Those are actually, I'm probably going to have to make a flower farm just for those. They, they give you blue dye, or light blue dye, or something that's kind of useful now. Um, I'm going to leave that one there, actually. Just the subtle hint of blue that pops out at you. You can't see it very well through all this tall grass, but it's it's there. I like that. Um, definitely going to get rid of these. I, not that much blue. I don't want that much blue. Stop. There. All right. Um, yeah. Alright. I'm gonna just keep on a bone mealing the ground. I'm gonna have to deal with those blue flowers, but for now, we'll leave them. Bone meal, bone meal, bone meal. Gotta get a lot of this tall grass in here, because the tall grass, or the, yeah, the shorter tall grass makes it look a lot more overgrown. Um, and especially if we 
If the grass would grow a little bit faster on the ground, that would help things a lot. But this this definitely helps bring it together. It's that extra little bit of detail that makes it look really nice. Um, I'm gonna go around and remove all the blue flowers now. I'm gonna have so many blue flowers. Alright, come on. That's enough of the blue flowers. But, yeah. There. Bone mealing some of this to make it taller. That's always nice. And more over here. And maybe that one. There, that's better. Alright. more right there. Definitely don't want that. Blue. Actually, maybe in the little down in, down here, the blue does add a little bit of a unexpected color that's kind of nice. A little tiny bit of detail that's really nice down there. But up on the top, it's in my opinion, overpowering. So I'm going to get rid of all the blue up here. What are these anyway? Orchids? Orchids. I'm gonna get rid of the orchids. Sorry, orchids. You can't do it. There. Um, yeah, they're just too overpowering. It's a bright, bright blue. I don't want that. I want a little bit of a less intense. I want to have the yellows and the oranges shine through. And the blue kind of detracts from that. So I think that this is coming along, leaving that one. And we're going to get a nice view of it in just a sec. All right, that's most all of the blue, except for all these ones over here. Whatever. I'll take care of those later. They're off to the side. We can't be too worried about them. Alright, coming up here and taking a look. Oh, yes. The old tower that's stuck in the ground, falling over. There will be a tree that reaches up and over it eventually, and this is, this is awesome. This actually looks really good. I'm really happy with this. Alright, that made me happy seeing that. I'm gonna get in my bed now and sleep through the night, but wow, yep. Alright, I'm happy now. That looks cool. Well, I think that that looks great. I'm really, really happy with the way that this turned out, quite honestly. I'm just super pumped to keep on building now. This is really, really great. But sadly, I think that I've got to end the episode now. I've done a whole ton this episode, made that entire flipping tower thing, and that was annoying to put all those together. It took quite a while. And so I think that that's just about enough for one episode. Um, there's one more thing that we need to do, however. Seeing as last episode we found some buddies to play around with in this world, I think that we have to name them. We've got our three puppy dogs right here, and we get to name them now. I've got three colored dyes, and I'm thinking that, based upon your opinion, you guys' comments in the last video, one of them should be named Fred. Hi, Fred. Oh, you've got a yellow color. That's so cool. Okay, yellow is Fred. And then another one should be named Banter, for some reason. 
I don't quite know. And it looks like Banter already has a red color. But I think that we should actually... Yeah, I'm thinking we should make it a different color. If red won't work... Uh, I don't have any... I don't have any with me. Are there any squid out there? It figures there wouldn't be. Whatever. Alright, um... I'm gonna quickly find some black real quick. And... Oh, here it is. I'll just kill this squid right now. And then we'll have a... Black collared banter. Black collared banter. <laughs> Alliteration there. That's cool. Alright. Now we've got the black and we can put that on banter 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 look at me look at me banter that got your attention you've got black now and then the last one the last one I've got a name right here right now I haven't prepared any names I don't know what I'm gonna name it but let's just do this. Um, Fred Banter Let's go with Wilma. Don't ask where that came from. I have no idea. Okay, I quite honestly don't know where that came from. But now we've got Wilma Fred, and Banter. Three puppies to help me out in this world. That's great. Eventually, I'll be able to uh, name them all. Once I get three name tags, I can have them have their names display right above them, which is awesome. But for now, this is really cool. I've got Banter, Wilma, and Fred. Three puppies. Yay. All right. I think that that's a good way to end the episode. Thank you fellows so much for watching. I really hope you've enjoyed. And Fred, Banter, and Wilma all say goodbye. And so thank you so much for watching. I really hope you've enjoyed. We've got a lot done. That base is going to look amazing. Next episode we're probably going to be working on the interiors and the entryway and maybe incorporating a different color into the exterior because some wood or something because it doesn't look that great right now but thank you so much for watching i really hope you've enjoyed and until next time so long fellows and wilma says bye too so does banter and fred so long <laughs>